Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. Today, let's talk about what is annuity laddering and how to use it in retirement planning. So, I have now integrated the annual annuity laddering calculation that I'm going to talk about in the Free Fin Cal Robo Advisory template. Uh, to do this, I had uh, written a series of articles first on the latest annuity rates of LIC Jeevan Akshay then the historical annuity rates of LIC Jeevan Akshay and then uh, how to choose an annuity plan uh, whether to buy a bond or an annuity so you can check out all those articles uh, at uh, freefincal or I will leave the links in the description so we'll go straight to uh, what is annuity laddering and uh, how to use it excuse me so if you look at this, this is a typical um, increase in expenses after retirement. So the person retires at 55 and lives up to 90. That's our assumption. And the expenses are increasing at 6% a year. That's a reasonable uh, assumption. So now uh, in a standard retirement plan that you will see, the way to handle this is to use what is known as a bucket strategy. You have to... Um, invest the corpus that you have in different buckets or in different instruments however way you want to call it some with the higher risk some with uh, no risk some with medium risks and so on and then you derive an income uh, from that now that is the uh, extreme in terms of active management because you are actively managing the entire corpus in order to give you inflation protected uh, income the opposite of that is to uh, buy ourselves pension plans uh, buy ourselves an annuity or a bond uh, at different stages in retirement and uh, you can use this to uh, uh, guarantee a constant pension but since the annuities will increase with time that will also uh, factor in inflation and uh, that's basically how you construct an annuity ladder so an annuity ladder is basically a series of pensions that are purchased at different points in time in retirement let's say every 10 years or so so uh, the simplest way to use an annuity is to you uh, uh, to do what is known as income flooring that is basically you buy an annuity at the start or buy a bond at the start of your retirement and you will get some income and that income will be constant and therefore while the rest of the inc uh, expenses increase with inflation some amount of income is guaranteed for life so this is called income flooring of course this is possible uh, i have talked about this uh, several times before maybe a couple of videos also uh, this uh, income flooring is now an option in the robot advisory template but of course you can see that you still have to actively manage the remainder of the corpus uh, later on so to in order to understand how the annuity plans make sense let us see the annuity rates or the pension rates offered by LIC Jeevan Akshay from February 2022 for the option annuity for life. You can see that as the age increases, the interest rate offered by LIC becomes higher and higher because uh, if you buy an annuity plan at 30, you get only 6.2%. But if you buy it at 60, you get 8.3%. That's because an older person uh, is expected to die sooner and therefore the, the insurance company is compensating for that of course in this option the return of uh, uh, there is no return of the principal you buy it for one crore you get interest every month but after you die the money will stay with lic it will not be given back to you that sounds like a very bad option but if you buy the option with the return of principal where they give it back to you then you will get 25 to 30 percent pension lower and i have shown that for a retiree who lives to 20 years there is basically no not much difference in the irr and it is more uh, uh, productive and simpler to buy a simple annuity without return of purchase price okay that's that's for another uh, video if you are interested i'll make a video on that but uh, anyway this is the information now you can see at age 70 it becomes 10.6 percent 75 13.25 percent and 80 it actually is 17.225 percent of course lic doesn't expect an 80 year old to lie uh, to uh, sorry to live uh, for uh, more than 5 to 10 years so they are happy to give that much of 
uh, interest rates. So this is the basic idea of the annuity ladder. Suppose you are uh, you are retiring at age 55, you get a 7.6% interest rate. Then you buy another annuity at 65, which is 9.2%. Then you buy another annuity at 13.2% uh, at, 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 at age 75 and so on. You get higher and higher interest rates and that you can use to combat inflation in the following way. So this is uh, one way to combat inflation. You can see that the first annuity is purchased here, the second annuity is purchased here, third annuity is here and the fourth annuity is here. Of course, here what you do is you basically take 10 years and you take the uh, uh, average of uh, 10 years expenses and that's the first annuity. The average of next 10 years expenses is here, here and here and so on. That's one way to do it or uh, you can uh, what you can do is you can take the first 10 years and you can project it uh, project the expenses increasing at six percent and you take the expenses in the 10th year and buy the annuity then they take the expenses at 20th year and buy the annuity 30th year and buy the annuity that means uh, whatever is the expense in the annual expense in the 10th year you will uh, buy a pension so that the annual pension is this is is the 10th year's expense given from day one of your retirement for life and this will be the 20th year expenses given as pension for life, 30th year for life and so on and so on and so on. This way the annuities you are buying several annuities here. Of course, this is an extreme example of 60 years in retirement. But all those annuities, all the, the, if you take the sum of those annuities, you can see they are always above the expenses. So there is no, you, uh, there's, uh, you, you basically don't need to actively manage a retirement bucket. You are buying the uh, annuities that will take care of the inflation. Of course, the, the there is always a con. The, the The downside is that you have to have a much much higher retirement corpus. That is the problem. But there are many people who are wealthy enough. They can definitely consider this. It will uh, you know it will give them peace of mind to buy annuities and uh, be done with it. Sorry, um, this is a difference between Mac and. <laughs> windows i have the scrolling problem so uh, this is these are screenshots from the robo advisory template so what we do is to uh, we consider an effective tax rate that will be uh, deducted from the uh, annuities that's important because the annuities are uh, taxed as per slab then we have to take into account a rate of depreciation about one percent a year because with time annuities decrease so uh, the the template will tell you when you buy, you will have to buy the annuity and you have to input some rates you can use the current rates then those rates will be depreciated then there's a tax uh, account uh, tax taken into account then it will tell you uh, annuity required to give you the pension for example what you saw uh, sorry what you saw here what are the annuities required this what is the purchase price here to get this pension this pension this pension etc and so on can be done uh, uh, in so the and this is these are the annual annuities required then uh, uh, the first annuity you are going to buy immediately the second annuity you are going to buy only 10 20 uh, sorry 10 years later the third 20 years later and so on so you have time to invest you don't need the entire amount today itself you can invest a lesser amount and then you can uh, you know uh, make sure uh, because of your investments it grows to that amount so um, you can input the return on your investments and then you can calculate the funds required uh, today 10 years later 20 years later 30 years later and so on of course these annuities will require 18 uh, percent gst so that also has been taken into account so excuse me so and finally you will get the total retirement corpus in this example that i'm showing the there's an extreme example the uh, annuity laddering corpus is 64 percent higher than a uh, retirement uh, uh, with a bucket strategy corpus, a conventional retirement calculator giving you bucket strategy that's 64% higher. So you have to pay that price. But then it's not for everybody, uh, but some people can. Of course, if you are a young guy today, you don't need to worry about this. You, you, this, this is only for people on the verge of retirement or who have just retired. If you have a large enough corpus, then you can use an annuity ladder or you can use uh, you don't need to you exactly follow this formula. You can buy annuity ladders every now and then to handle some part of uh, you know inflation in retirement and guarantee the expenses so that you are you are free you don't need to worry too much about uh, you know active management of the buckets in any case beyond 75 or so people will get the all sort of health problems they may not be health uh, active enough then they can just take their entire corpus buy an annuity and be done with it and they are done and they are going to be uh, you don't need to manage anything of course you have to give life certificate every year and so on but uh, 
we have other methods to do that today we have given command and things like that and so on so that's how you do uh, an annuity ladder for retirement planning